Hello, DCOM, and welcome to the lineup review. What is the name of this ship you brought in for us? This is the Croesus. The Croesus. That's going to be fun when I try to title this video. <laughs> you, you, you've got all the vowels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, first of all, is this ship part and parcel? you got a racer here? <laughs> the racer, yeah. That's actually my transport ship I built. Um... It was it, something. Go ahead. Does it does it does it dock with this ship? No, actually, this is. Oh, it totally that, should. This is something I had built for Athadel for his big ship, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna keep one of the blueprints for me. Because I was just thinking, it. I thought you were gonna turn up like the Jedi in freaking episode t episode one, <laughs> in this like black ship, and then just drop off your racer <laughs> and go racing. Oh no, you'll, there's a special treat waiting for you with the racer oh. uh, down the line. Oh, okay, cool. Spoiler. Spoilers! <laughs> Alright, no spoilers. So, but what's yeah. the name What's the name of the main ship again? Uh, the Croesus. The Croesus. It's got natural yeah. stealth in that it's black. That's why you, ha you can't really see much at the moment. Yeah, I haven't been able to work it out so it has a decent cloak on it, but... That'll come eventually. No, I just mean the fact that it's black. You can't see it <laughs> against some backgrounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So does it have an interior? It has a little interior. Where's the door? Uh, it's towards. It's in front of the um, engine pylons. Ah, oh, there we go. And we're in. And oh, where's your chair? Well, well, to be honest, well, this was my first ship. I'm joking, so. mate. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, basically, nice ship. We've got a really beautiful shape. It's nice and small, so I bet it handles very nicely. Are these broadsides? Do what? There's computers on each side here. Are they both facing forward or what? Um, I believe they're looking out. I was originally gonna make it so that m multiple people could use them but I figured out pretty fit fast with this being my first ship that it just wouldn't work right okay. people wouldn't be able to look out and whatnot but so you're just experimenting really yeah quality okay well it's still a really nice ship mate you know yeah and I do like this little racer you've made as well that's really cool Stage, <laughs> but yeah Racing. I think there's like, I think there's two other uh, versions of that car, a red and a blue one. Nice. You should bring them to my racing track later. I might be doing some of that after the lineup review. The racing track. Yeah, I've got a racing track. It's I like was... cool. <laughs> I have a skid steer for that actually. Cool, man. Well, bring it. Oh, the only thing is, I will tell you to take all your energy blocks off, but that's an easy thing to fix. Right. Wait, what? No, okay, you're not allowed wait. power. Ch yeah, you're not allowed power recharge blocks on your ship. It's the twist. So you have fuel. You basically you're good for like six laps. So if we say ten, then you've got to refuel at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It may means there's a pit in strategy. You have to, you know. <laughs> so it makes <laughs> makes the race a little bit more interesting because you know the leader has to pull in eventually. So right. it kind of mixes it all up. But anyway, so let's not detract from your beautiful ship here. Are you planning to do wedging on this in any in the other direction, or are you just going to... Uh... Yeah, I am. Because I like how you've done it on the main body. I was just wondering, for the engines at the side, do you think you'd keep the same pattern, you know? Or well, are you going to make it had... go in the other, other orientation? Well, when I had first started wedging it, that's all there was, was, was wedges. So mm. I did that, and then halfway... And right when I realized there were new blocks coming out, I kind of just stopped and haven't gotten to it yet. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Oh, no, to be it. honest, mate, I love the style. It looks like loads of little plates. It looks like it's loads of plates layered on top of each other at the moment. I was just wondering if you plan to do the same pattern on the on the uh, engine sections. I mean, I might. Yeah, no, it's just, so yeah, okay, so let's talk about the race car. What's the race car called? Anything? Has it got a name? It feels it's like it should have a name. Cool. It's a very, very unique design. <laughs> I realized it's red car, and this is the black car, but it had a name, and it was the D-Cron. The D-Cron. It's got a lot of thrusters. 
Damn. It, Damn. It, well, it looks like an axle, to be honest. It's like a supercar. Right, I want one in uh, yellow, okay? <laughs> I will get that to you. I want one in yellow, and we're going to call it a Trans Am. If you could, if, if you could, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've seen Red Line, but yeah. Okay, um, that's awesome. And uh, first of all, I want to thank Decom for bringing his ships in for review. So that's epic. Thank you for showing up and waiting in line. Uh, thanks to everybody watching who is still with us. And we're going to be moving on to the next one. So, yeah, thanks again, Decom. No um, problem. Yeah, and I'm going to watch you head out. Wow, yeah, that was that was pretty fast. And then we're going to head on to the next ship. So I'm going to go find that.